Ooh, medical training. Always stay up on that. It is super important. <gasps> My drill sergeant says it's tingling, but that can only mean one thing. Some idiot with a bag of band-aids and a tourniquet is running around a whole bunch of different protests acting like they know anything medically related. <sighs> yeah! I guess it's time to bleed out, baby. Woo! You're good, boy. You're good. Yeah, good, good, good. good. While having a friendly protest, one of these Antifa guys got hit in the leg with a rubber bullet. All his friends decide to run over and help him out. And the first thing they decide to do with this little bitty teensy weensy baby brush burn on his leg is slap a tourniquet onto it. Brilliant. And during this whole thing, a little lady that's putting on this tourniquet and strapping it down tight on top of this guy's leg is screaming, she's trying to stop the blood. I don't think that that wound, if we want to call it that, deserves a tourniquet. I know, I know, I know, I know. Boy, he sure is not enjoying that. It would be wrong of me to enjoy it, wouldn't it? Now this guy's screaming and crying, I don't want to lose my leg! <laughs> Because you idiots decided to put a tourniquet on a brush burn that isn't even bleeding, you bunch of LARPers. You learn life-saving techniques from Planned Parenthood or something? Her training encyclopedia is probably a bunch of Dr. Kevorkian self-help books. You look like you learned how to do that from an episode of Doc McStuffins. At least you learned from a person of color. Or is it a cartoon of color? A cock? Picked up some medical tips from Casey Anthony's I'm a parent and so can all shit instead. Looking like you get all your medical supplies from OJ's gloves and stuff. This mech overreacted more than an old Italian woman with her only son. Oh, baby boy, you need to eat some food. Your mama's so mad and upset. It begs the question, what do you do when you see a kid scrape his knee on the playground? Just bought a hacksaw and start sawing that bad boy off. Sorry, little Jimmy, we gotta amputate that shit. Like he's just been wounded in the middle of the Battle of Gettysburg? That poor medic probably goes to a dodgeball tournament and just brings a bunch of body bags. I'm sorry, my lady, but when your child was struck in the face with the dodgeball, we did determine he was no more. He hath eth been smote. He was smited. Smoten. Smiten, smoten. When she's talking to the guy, she says, oh, I gotta stop the bleeding. We just don't want you to bleed. We just don't want you to bleed, okay? There's no, you're bleeding. good. Stop it. What bleeding? The only thing bleeding is this kid's bleeding heart. And that's not even taken literally, hon. That's a figure of speech. You're better off just sucking the venom out. What venom? He wasn't bit by a snake. Well, he ain't bleeding either, so what's the fucking point of the tourniquet? Where did you do your practicals? The University of Phoenix? I have a guess as to where she's been storing that tourniquet, and it's probably been around her neck, because God knows there has been no blood flow up to that vital organ in quite some time. People are yelling, breathe, breathe. Oh. What is he going into labor? I've seen five-year-olds fall off their bike in the middle of the street and get up with a little bit more action. You know how the saying goes, sticks and stones may break my bones, but rubber bullets need a goddamn tourniquet. Well, after all that commotion, I guess we learned one thing. Keep your eyes on the prize and your hands away from that dude's thighs. I feel like this woman is the Karen of combat medics. Just running in and trying to take over a scene, not knowing what the hell she's fucking talking about. Just letting you know. Uh, no, you're not. And the Academy Award goes to... <gasps> Overreactionary Antifa Activist! Oh, West Coast Edition, so nice. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. I would thank God, but I am an anarcho-atheist, gender-fluid helicopter. I would thank the Academy, but we all know positions of power are automatically racist. I can only say I wish that the person giving me medical aid wasn't white, but I am blessed to know that she wasn't a man, or identified as one. And finally, I would like to note that my privilege is what saved me. Thank you. Thank you. The dude looks like when your dog tries to sleep like a person on their back with their arms up. Oh look, he's getting tummy rumps.